Goalie the Goalie Tech Reviews here. I wanted to do a short video today with regards to um, the operating system on the JMGO N1 Ultra. I felt that, uh, and many people have commented, that it is a little bit buggy and slow, and I thought there must be a way to make this better. So when I return, we're going to talk about how we might be able to do that. Stay tuned. All right, so we're back downstairs in my home theater room. I uh, was really contemplating how I could uh, get this operating system to work better. Uh, everybody that's not a part of the Discord community yet when it comes to uh, the Jamgo N1 Ultra, uh, please don't hesitate to uh, get in there and uh, make yourself a part of that community where we're doing things like updates, system helps, uh, tips, user tips, etc., all kinds of things. Um, one of the things that I wanted to see was, you know, just thinking back to my old uh, Android uh, operating system on my phone, um, that there must be a way to maybe make this system operate a little quicker. And it got me to thinking about, um, I don't know, maybe a month or so ago, and I'm really sorry, I can't remember the name of the poster, but I remember it was probably on the Kickstarter campaign uh, chat forum where somebody had mentioned that they were able to get the developer settings or the developer options up and running on the N1 Ultra and were able to go in and control the amount of, um, of uh, options running in the background. So I thought, well, that, that actually uh, you know, might make a difference. And it also got me thinking about uh, animation um, in the, on the phone and how you're able to go in. And uh, I always go in when I get a new phone and I go into my animations and I reduce it from one to, to half. And it always just seems to make the phone run a little smoother, a little bit better. So I, it got me to thinking, you know, would that work on uh, the N1 Ultra? So I decided to go in and play around and see what I could come up, could come up with. And um, I think uh, it's safe to say that this has made uh, a fairly substantial difference. I've been running it now for about a day and a bit. Um, using this, these little bit of, uh, I guess, uh, hacks for the lack of a better word. Uh, and it seems to actually make quite a difference. So I wanted to show you how I went in and did that. So when you bring up your app, you're going to come into, of course, your normal setup screen. Uh, just move your, uh, with using your Jamgo remote, that is, uh, move your uh, little toggle up to settings. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then head down to device preferences and go into about while you're there you can always do a quick system update uh, pretty sure that this is going to show up to date um, going back to that discord uh, community that I was talking about Leah who is one of the uh, jam go staff um, has been putting an email out asking for those who wanted to submit their serial number to be a part of a beta uh, operating system um, that they're going to be releasing um, she commented maybe you know sort of the beginning of August um, so you basically sent her an email submitted uh, your serial number and I'm assuming they're going to roll out this beta update to those that have uh, serial numbers registered so there's definitely a benefit of being a part of that discord community too plus to hear all the user tips etc people are doing so anyways uh, back out of here Let's go down to Android TV OS build. And just like on your Android phone, you're going to continue to click to press 2, 1, uh, until you see you are now a developer. So continue to hit that enter button. I think it's five or six or seven times, and you become a developer. So once you've done that, you can then back out of that screen. So hit your back button and head all the way down to developer options. Enter there. Once you're in your developer options, you can now see all the different internal settings. I wouldn't really recommend messing with a lot of these because to be quite honest with you, I'm not sure how they're going to affect the projector uh, and its performance. But a couple of the things that you can do because they're based more on the operating system than they are on the projector itself. And one of them all the way down to here is your window animation scale 
uh, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. Uh, again, these are settings that I normally go in when I get a new phone and I adjust. I change them down to half. Um, and to be quite honest with you, I'm not sure exactly what it does when it comes to the animation process of how the phone shows the you know, transition from screens and apps and all that kind of stuff. But what I do notice is that it definitely seems to make the phone run more smooth, more quickly, that sort of thing. So I thought, what the heck, let's change that on here. Let's see what happens. And then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go all the way down to the bottom or very close to the bottom where, where the app section is listed. And in the app section, you've got don't keep activities. I didn't play around with that. You've got background ANRs. Uh, and, and again, not playing with that. What I'm concerned with here is the background process limit. Right now, it is on standard limit. I think that operates at four uh, processes running in the background. So I did play around a little bit. I went to three, I went to two, didn't really notice a huge, huge difference. But when I went to one, it seemed to make a pretty drastic difference in just how quick the operating system um, runs, etc. Now, the one thing that I did notice that when I ran a, a restart of the projector, just like some of the settings that you can go in and save, uh, unfortunately don't save. And when you run a restart of the projector, what ends up happening is all of these settings uh, go back to normal. The developer option is still there. It doesn't boot you out of that, um, but it does reset uh, at least the background process. I found that the animation stayed the same. So you might have to go in when you do a reboot uh, to that to that background process limit and go down and rechange that into uh, at most one. And once you've done that, you can back out of there. And just so you know, if you want to get out of the developer options or just completely get rid of it uh, as if it wasn't there, you can go back into the options and you can click on enable developer options. If you hit that, it'll turn, it'll you know slide the toggle to the left, it'll turn it gray. And that developer uh, options will disappear from this screen and you'll only have your standard sort of settings. So now when I go back into my system, I do find it quite a bit more uh, responsive, quick. Uh, I definitely don't get the two, three, four second hang times when I'm going into something. Uh, everything seems to load really quick. Uh, and uh, there is really no delay, you know, uh, a lot of the times you'll, you'll, you'll go to switch from, you know, one of these uh, images to the next and it'll either freeze up or it'll take a half a second or two uh, and it's just not a really great experience. So, and that seems to at least uh, completely disappear when it comes to uh, um, doing, you know, the, the sort of the rapidness, the speed of this. So I think I'm just going to put this down here for a sec. Um, that's the other thing too, even the responsiveness of the volume button uh, and also the, um, actually let's get out of there and let's do, oh, that's right. I'm not, uh, I was going to show the um, quick access for the picture settings, etc. but that only works when you're in HDMI one and two. Um, but a very cool option too, to uh, bring up those uh, quick picture settings. Anyways, um, so even just the responsiveness of the volume button is quite great. So I wanted to give you an idea as to how to set that up. I, I would really, uh, appreciate if everybody was to actually go in and give this a try. And then in the comment section, uh, to please leave their results. Did they find that it uh, helped, that it made it worse, that it, you know, made it better, quicker, that sort of thing. I'm really curious and I'd love to see us get, uh, you know, as many uh, Jamgo N1 users as possible trying this. Um, if this video is something that you appreciate, then please don't hesitate to click on the subscribe. Uh, and also, just as important, uh, click on the like button because that does help with the, uh, uh, I guess, the algorithms of the YouTube for my channel. Uh, and uh, subscribe and also the bell icon to let you know when I'm getting uh, new videos released. And... Um, 
And again, as always, I, I can't thank all of you enough for watching my videos, taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. I'm grateful for it. Uh, super happy um, to see my channel continuing to grow. Uh, couldn't ask for more. And uh, as, a, as an added bonus, um, I'm going to go into my... Let's get out of here. I'm going to go into my inputs. I'm going to go into my HDMI 1 and go through uh, here. What I want to do is force the projector. All right. What I'm doing now is I just want to run a uh, one of these, uh, I was again chatting with um, with Steve Ash, the gentleman that uh, that sent me the um, the Vertex 2 to try, um, just to see um, some of his feedback on the different uh, videos he's watching and everything, and whether or not um, there are, uh, you know... Um, if if even in YouTube if there's a if, if there's a difference in the video and there and there certainly seems to be, so we're gonna go into here, gonna bring back up the HDMI one. This is now going through the vertex. You can tell by the uh, menu on the bottom left corner there, or, or actually across the whole bottom. And I want to show you because I am so completely blown away by how incredible uh, this video looks. It's, uh, again, when I look at this screen, especially through the Vertex, um, I, I got to tell you, if this thing isn't as close to an OLED screen that I've ever seen, then, uh, you know, I'm not sure what's going on, but it's really, truly incredible. And of course, let's get a little sound here. Let this run just for a second. Now there's one that I had watched. I'm going to go back to my... Uh, let's go... Whoops. Library. Oh, I might have saved it actually. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, there I go, phase. This is the one here. I was watching this, and I was literally floored by the video. So I'm going to just turn it down so it's not so loud, and I'm going to go back. Well, let's start it right about here. Oh, it's at the beginning. Now I'm not going to say anything. I just want you to uh, to sit and watch this for a second. Look at, I know you probably can't tell, but the blacks on this screen are so freaking incredible that um, I, I'm incredibly happy. I've never seen anything like this. Um, I am so disheartened to hear uh, some of the issues that are happening with some people with their with their JMGO projectors because uh, when it works and you've got it set up properly and it's running smoothly, um, there is, I, I've never, I've, I've said I've never seen anything like it. Uh, the picture quality is just incredible. The, uh, the blacks are, like look at those oranges. Uh, it, it's almost three dimensional. It's so crystal clear, sharp, and amazing and um, and this video again doesn't do it justice and uh, that I'm showing you but the one I'm watching really truly does and there are literally um, tons of these 12k videos on the uh, on the internet or on YouTube sorry that you can watch I mean look at the detail in that cat the hair um, you know even the reds and the blacks on this lipstick and and sort of the pop between that and the chrome um, it's really, truly incredible. Um, I'm just going to fast forward here because, oh, here, look at this. I think these flowers 
light up here in a second. Yeah, I mean, look at that. <laughs> I, I, I'm literally like a giddy school kid because I finally, finally have the projector and home theater uh, that I've always dreamt of having. Um, and, and I can't thank Jamgo enough. And I hope all of those that are having issues with not getting them delivered or issues with the projectors work through them because I'm telling you, there is nothing better out there uh, on the market today. Um, you know, I, and, and I, would, I would even argue spending eight, you know, seven, eight, nine thousand dollars um, I think that this thing is going to give a JVC or a Sony a run for its money every single time um, because I just don't think there's anything better out there than this. It truly is uh, spectacular. Um, so, again, thanks so much for watching the video. If you appreciate the video, please click the thumbs up. Uh, please uh, hit the subscription. I think I'm at like 302 or 303 subscribers. My goal is to get to 500. I would love to have all your uh, help with that. And um, also click the bell icon to get notification when I do my next video. And thanks again for your time, for watching my videos, and for all of your comments. I really appreciate when you make a comment, and I always do my best to try to answer uh, any of those comments. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day, and we'll talk again soon. Take care. And I'll leave you with a couple of more seconds of video here. <laughs>